In this section, I'm going to continue populating the EPA net model by drawing in pipes between the nodes I'd already drawn in. Here's the existing system tank and the first node. Uh, before I do that, we do need to check that the auto length is on. You can see here I actually closed up the model and reopened it, and it, it defaults back to auto length off. So to be sure you're getting correctly scaled pipes, right click that and auto length on. And now we can begin to draw those pipes and it'll draw to scale. Uh, I'm going to draw a pipe from the existing tank to node 1, the beginning of the system. And again, this, this tank is not in the correct position. Uh, I'm going to leave it uh, close to the system so I don't have a huge uh, model to zoom around in. I draw another m node from the, excuse me, not node, another pipe from the beginning of the system down to the booster, and I can follow the alignment by clicking where I want the pipe to change direction or curve. And when I click on the node, it autom automatically joins it and becomes a pipe between those two nodes. Let's just do a quick check of the defaults on that pipe. It is a six inch pipe. We can see here the length is coming up correct. It's a odd number length. It's not a default length, which would tend to be something like a thousand or a hundred. The roughness coefficient is correct at 130, so I'll continue drawing in these pipes. For now, I'm I haven't got a booster pump in here and I'm just going to join up the booster inlet to the outlet with a straight piece of pipe and we'll, we'll put a booster in there later a pump in there later I should say a pump is actually a link in EPA net it's not a um, node so I'm going to continue following this alignment just real roughly And this is to the first home node, right there. And in between the that home and the next home, and finally to the last two here. from the last node to the proposed tank uh, or the last home that node represents the last home uh, it's kind of a curvy path all the way up to the tank and again just we can check these pipes uh, make sure that they're looking okay six inches the uh, length appears about correct and make sure our defaults are okay. And that looks okay. I'm going to do a quick run just to see if uh, everything's linked up okay. See if we get any error messages coming. Run that was successful, so that tells me that uh, everything's looking okay and is linked together. Of course, we haven't set any uh, scenario for time or. Uh, any, any other parameters for use at the nodes or water demand. Uh, I'm going to end this section here and continue in the next.